Hey guys, I hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. We are deeply embroiled in a huge war. Look at this. Look how many men they have. They have so many men. They have more men than I do. Well, mostly they do. But uh, yeah, we, we've been destroying them. We have lost 29,000 men to their 180 and uh, plenty more losses to come. Uh, that's what they get for standing in my way. This is my clay, right? This is my territory. I deserve it. I have earned it and uh, I will take it. And very soon we'll be able to attack Oirat to clean up these borders here because I know they've probably have been bugging you guys. They've been bugging me. And we're going to attack Japan and annex a bit of their clay as well. All the while, we need to be looking for ways to increase our, um, whatchamacallit, our stuff here. So, can I get a Cossacks one? Loot the provinces in this state here. I can do that. Or does it say all provinces in that state are looted okay so we'll just wait we'll get that one here in a moment should be no issue these guys have lost so many men it's incredible how many men they lost let's have you guys teach down crack house since since bulgaria is coming over here bulgaria took offensive ideas if i recall correctly so they're gonna be making it happen over there as well which is really good for us now we still have the Cossack, so there's not really a reason for us to not have a little bit of cav in our army, at least for right now. What? Jeez, OP, you guys are crazy. Let's say, uh, nope, I don't want you to cross over there. And of course, we continue converting everything. Because we're pious. That's what pious leaders do, right? Um, okay. This is that annoying part of the game where... Man, what the heck? This is taking forever. Oh, it queued up a ton of units in St. Petersburg. Okay, so let's fix that because that's broken. That should not be a thing. There you go. Use eight provinces. Still queuing up six of them in St. Petersburg. <sighs> All right. Yeah, why is it doing that? Look at that. It's queuing them in St. Petersburg. Hmm. Okay, so we got six cannons. All right. <laughs> That's a uh, yeah, that's pretty annoying. So we have yeah, six cannons in the way. We need three more. So let's go one, two, three, and then we need six calves. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, oh, just kidding. We only need two cav, four cav rather. Yep, very good, cool. So we'll get that started, and then these guys over here, we'll siege down these lads over here, and then these lads here, we'll head down and uh, siege down the wieners here in a moment. We need to loot this state here, and that will get the Cossacks nice and loyal. And we'll be able to yoink a thing from them to give us a little bit more absolutism. And very soon we'll be able to get another maximum of five, so ten more total. Which is, uh, you know, I think that ends up being about 3.3. I think it's one third of your absolutism is converted into, uh, what's it called? Um, admin efficiency. So, where are you guys heading here? Pressburg? There you go. That is a mercenary stack there. Luthin, uh, whatever they're called. So they're gone now. Where whatever they were called is irrelevant. Irrelevant. They're dead. So this province here is getting looted, and we just need to loot these other ones. Very good. Patriarch authority is good. I think we. Hmm. You know, we have an army over here, so there's no reason to really use our um, icon of the St. Saint, Elucia. Saint yeah. I think we could use... I mean... Oh, the AE impact and improve relations. That'll help us prevent a massive coalition from firing in Europe. Right now, we're just... We're cycling truces for the most part anyways right now. So, like, these guys here... Oh, they're allied to Ming. That's actually okay with me. Because what that does is that allows us to come down here and siege down Ming and then piece them out separately. So I'll have these guys suppress rebels over here. Just to prevent them from firing, if at all possible. We've lost the siege of Best Arabia. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Luckily for us, there's another fort right here that they can't get past, so. Okay, we just need to win a couple of sieges over here. All I want from this war is what I have claims on which is all of this here. That's it. That's all I want. Wallachia should probably be mine as well, but it's okay if it isn't uh, gained in this war. Mostly for border purposes. I don't think I'm really able to. Shift consolidate and head on in and 
Oh no, they're reinforcing. Whatever will I do? <laughs> As they take massive, massive losses. So, yeah, this is quite a bit. I think it's time for us to get another shot. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I think it's time to get another shot out. So if you guys are of a legal drinking age, go ahead and prepare your shot glasses because it is time to siege down uh, Prague again for this episode. If you do not know, we have a tradition here. Anytime Prague gets siege down, if you are of drinking age and you are legally allowed to, always drink responsibly, you take a shot every time we siege Prague. Not right now. It's not happening. Not quite yet. Where are we at here? Waiting for one more month to take this tech. Oh, water shortage, 78%. So that means like 2%. Finland. So I just want to white piece these guys. There you go. Nice. Now we have a nice short truce with them. And then in the next war, we'll be able to reconquest lots of clay from them. All right. So let's have you guys split here and have you guys split here. Have these guys over here sieging down Prague and shots up, boys. Thank you for participating. <laughs> and uh, now we just kill off a few more of their men. This is a show superiority war. So as long as we're getting a little bit more war score from um, battles, I'm fine with it. Let's take that. That way we're staying ahead of time on tech. There you go. 50% war score. So we have to get them off. Ooh, nice. We are able to just like absolutely clobber these guys. Uh, I can lose the money. It's fine. We can take a loan out. I don't mind a whole lot. There you go. All right, so let's switch these over to myself and just see how much I'm able to take here. Um, I want to take this whole state, this whole state, and I believe this whole state. So that's a 95%. Jeez, that's a lot of AE as well, but that should be okay. Lots of overextension, but uh, after you concentrate dev, that should be not an issue. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to end up needing to get quite a bit more war score. So I'll transfer those back to Finland and... Uh, now, we're going to need to peace out Spain. Probably. I don't really know an easy way to do this. So let's make sure that we are sieging down as many forts over here as possible. I would like to get Miltech and uh, start steamrolling through them. The extra infantry fire is going to be huge. Combat width means we're going to need to change up our uh, templates a bit, which is okay. That's not a problem. Um, Just waiting to take that tech. I don't... There we go. Went in sieges over here. Let's have you guys head over there. Those guys are on their way over there. And I have won this siege over here in Trenchen, or however that's pronounced. So let's get over here. Shift consolidate. Get in there. Kill them. Destroy them all. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this. Look how many men they lose compared to us. And that's before we took Miltech. <laughs> let's siege down Austria proper. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a minute. That's all. Um, I'll take it. Oh, I don't even need to take a loan out. Let's upgrade our cannons as well. That's way more fire damage. It's more fire, more pips. So more fire damage is good. Those guys are getting handled. These guys are winning battles over here. No, let's have you guys head over here. These guys over there. What I want from this war is mostly just to clean up borders over here. So something like this for now. And then like, you know, this whole state here. And then like, maybe we want to take some forts as well. So like something like this. That would take all their forts that they have over here. Oh, they have one more over here. But yeah, that would take all their forts but one. And they're, you know, obviously their capital. All right. Let's have these guys grouped up over here to start sieging down Lithuania, Poland. So we can get that... Um, Mission done, so we can yoink that uh, thing there. And then we'll gain 10 loyalty, right? Very good. Available loot. <laughs> Not particularly useful, but that's okay. There we go. Getting war score just from sieging him down. Destroying his uh, prosperity and his states, which he might not have any. Oh, he does have some prosperity, actually. Not bad. So, like, this province here would be really good to loot because it will... Um, it would actually give hurt their prosperity over time. So we'll keep those guys here to loot and then we'll actually scorch that province. You can see it'll devastate it. So basically, even though they have a fort here, it nothing will, it'll continue to be devastated. So they won't be able to do anything about it. All right. Uh, nope. 
let's uh loot Lithuania over here. For a mission, of course. Here we go. Siege down Bohemia. Who's disloyal? Burgers. Yeah, they'll be okay. Only for a few months, so it's not a big deal. There we go. So, oh, we just needed to loot it for like a monthly tick. So that's good. That means we can yoink this. I'm going to keep the governing capacity. The land leader shock is pretty good, though. Army tradition. Ah, Cossack's influence, though. 10%. So we're going to have to yoink that. And then uh, next time we'll do that. That frees up 5% absolutism, which is pretty good. We can actually buy down some revolts here. And that will give us a little bit more, which will actually reduce the cost of this a little bit. Which is nice. Put you guys over here. These guys have been looted. So let's come over to Siege on Salzburg. Basically, I just need to... Um, we just need to get... Um, what, who, what are they called? Um, Spain out of the war. That's the big one. This war is going to take a minute to peace out. They have 36,000 men somewhere. Where? I don't know. But they've got them somewhere. Okay, these guys still haven't won that siege over here. Sown discontent? Spain, you sons of guns. Sons of guns. No big deal. Just continue. Come over here. Siege down Silesia. Okay. And head down to Plock. I think we can probably speed five most of this war from now on. How much loan? 1,600. Jeez, oh, Pete. It's a big loan. One loan. Here we go. Gin separatists will be handled from those guys over there, so that's good. Alrighty then. Right, so let's get these guys grouped up. Because they are... Ooh. They won the Siege of Salzburg, which is good for us. All right. Need to get these guys grouped up. That is a primarily Austrian stack, so it should be pretty good. Very good. Very good. Let's get in there. Probably should have scorched Vienna. Let's get over here and fight off whoever's stuck in Vienna. Or Wienerwald. I know it's called Wienerwald, but it's funnier if you call it Wienerwald. Nice. Okay. So, oh man, yeah. Spain is on high enthusiasm. So annoying. So, so, so annoying. So, if we come over here to Beijing, we take a look. We can start adding the major ones to trade companies, which I will. And then over here, if we add... Oh, this one's Confucian still. So, like, if it's not converted yet, we don't want to do it. And then we also need to come in here and build these guys, which is giving those trade provinces uh, bonuses to trade. Come over here to North China. And we're at 73, so we'll get a merchant, which is awesome. Um, we're already steering all that through there. So, some mark hand. We just need to get, get our more, more uh, trade over here. We're going to get a ton more in you men. So, if we steer from here... That will transfer a bit more into Samarkand or a bit more into Persia. Which one? I actually don't know which one it will default to. Samarkand, which will send more up into Ostrakhan, which will send more up into Kazan, more into our home, our capital node. So all is good. We've won the Siege of Plock over here. So in the Siege of Pozna, we, we siege one down a bunch of sieges. There we go. And we just need to... This is a mountain province over here. There is literally no no purpose for us to not come over here and steamroll these armies here. Those are some Spanish armies, so we should kill them. All right. So let's transfer these back over and see how willing they are to give us this peace now. They are very much willing to peace it out, which is good. Um, and then I will also take... Hmm, I would like for them to annul their alliances with uh, Spain. 19 reasons. I think that's a uh, that's doable. I think that's definitely doable. So let's come over here, siege down Munich real quick. Should be pretty straightforward. If they want to get onto Salzburg, fine by me. Matter of fact, I am going to break off this siege right here to kill that uh, Spanish stack. Because screw them. That's why. 
Still got 140,000 men. That's nuts. It's actually nuts. Heads our absolutism is ticking up just a little bit. It's going to, you know, hurt their uh, enthusiasm for the war, which is awesome. And uh, manufacturers have spawned, and we did not spawn it, sadly. Eh, I'm okay with losing a little bit of patriarch authority. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Come over here. These guys are being annoying. Mong Quang. I forgot about them in the war. It's okay. Let's uh, come over here and siege this stuff all down. Siege these guys all down over here. Glorious will Russia be. I haven't used the claim area much, and I probably should use it a little bit more, but it's just something that I don't really care about because we have so many permanent claims that there's not really anything to worry about when it comes to that. Wipe out all these little one stacks. There we go. A little more siege over here. Get off these Polish stacks because, of course, we do. Every province that we occupy is giving us a little bit more. We can lose the manpower. That's fine. Giving us a little bit more um, war score, which is good. Uh, we're very close to getting the peace deal we're looking for. And we will continue to convert. Take that, which is going to give us the governing capacity that we need, which is awesome. That will actually allow us to state up some stuff up here, which we had wanted to do. Because these are all free states anyways. See? Don't even have to pay for them. Have a little bit of overextension. No big deal. So I think I will settle for a little bit less in this war. I definitely want the forts, though. Yeah, I want the forts. No doubt. And then... Yeah, I think that's probably it. That's fine. So we've taken all of their forts. And then, yep. Can't core anything up quite yet, but we will be able to soon. So let's have this half here. And this half down here. There we go. All is well. Get rid of that guy. So my performance goes back up exponentially for some reason and uh put these guys down here with a siege pip well i guess that's my my heir so i'd rather not have him in there we have call for pizza standard we're very close to uh, getting what we're looking for here let's get you guys over here super close there you go hey we sacked him so let's go a couple months. Oh, just one month, I suppose, is fine. No loan for me. And uh, we'll take a couple of ducats from him as well. Because screw you. And there you go. I didn't take Plock. Well, that was an accident. Oopsies. You know. Hmm. I could say it's come for that, but I won't do it. I won't do it. Conquer Romania. Once our truce up with the auto blob it is already up. All right. <sighs> no safe scum, lads. We're not going to do it. We're better men than that. We'll get these guys all grouped up, though. And we will get started on that war over there. We need to first off yoink lots of dev because we're going to be super overextended from all this. For at least a few months. Now it's going to be a couple of years while we'll, we'll do that. Let's switch over to an admin focus. Yeah, we're going to have a few of these. <laughs> There's not, it's unavoidable. Get you guys down here. And uh, have these guys grouped up over here and here. Have these guys down here. So Bulgaria's got lots of claim cores over here. Syria's got a few cores or one core over here. Uh, and then I'm also going to take... Probably going to take Constantinople in this war. No reason not to, right? So yeah, we're going to have to be fighting off this um, overextension for a minute. Truce with uh, Ming will be up soon. Truce with Japan is already up. They joined our coalition. Same with the Timurids. Really? All right. That's fine. Um, we're 
I wish you could set it so your templates will use like specialty infantry if you have them available or something. That would be nice. Did I lose a battle against rebels? Is that what that said? Yep, that's what it looks like. That's pretty infuriating. There you go. All right. So yeah, once this province is done, it will finish up. Meantime, I'm just trying to core up everything I can. Um, these guys are going to come down there. There we go. We got our last one as well. Extra absolutism is good. Oh, that was a really expensive one. Shouldn't have done that. That's okay, though. Uh-oh. Who just joined my coalition? Did that say Ottomans? No, it didn't. Who joined? Oh, Timur is left. Really? Okay. Well, let's, let's attack Japan, then. There's no, no use holding off on that one. Let's get you over there. And then next month, we will attack these guys over here in the Ottoman land. We will attack Ottoman for reconquest. Oh, Holy War. I could do reconquest, but then I'll only be able to reconquest. If I do Holy War, I'll be able to do everything. It will cost a little bit more, but it's, it's uh, in my opinion, better in the long term. All right. So then these guys over here come over here. They only have 120,000 men. We have double that just in their this general vicinity. So, okay. Don't convert any Christians quite yet because we still need to core up most of the Christian land that we've taken. Very good. Yep, we'll siege down as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Not really sure actually what we're going to be able to take from Japan, but we'll see. Uh, can I have another general? I cannot. Let's get these guys grouped up over here. Very good. Again, give the forts over to Finland. No reason to hold on to them. Get you guys here and here. And then we carpet siege with the rest of these guys. I'm going to take Wallachia for myself. Finland, Finland. And we'll just get these guys full occupied over here as quickly as possible while we are also converting everything over here. There we go. There's that there. You guys here. You guys over here. As you can see, admin is going to be holding us back for a little bit. We could let court and country fire. I don't think it's really necessary. I've gotten asked about that a few times. It's not really necessary anymore, especially since the reworks of the estates in 1.30. But we could do it. It's not going to hurt us if we fire it, but it's not going to really help us a whole lot because it's quite a punishing event. A uh, disaster, rather. I mean, it's not terrible. It's obviously not very hard to deal with. It's just more annoying than anything else. Okay. Anyways, we're just going to hang out here. We're, siege we're going to continue to core up as much as we possibly can. Okay, so these guys won this fort here. Let's have these guys come over here and have these guys come down there. Preferably before they win that. Ah, they won the 42 percenter. Unfortunate. They're before the monthly tick. And they are... Oh my gosh. What are you talking about, man? I did not mean to flee right there. That was an accident. There we go. This army's about to get stack wiped, aren't they? Nope, we're good. That was an accident. Uh, okay. Let's have half of you guys up there. You guys split over here and here. There we go. Yeah. Let the uh, overextension events happen. Nothing you can do about them. Just embrace the suck. It's going to happen no matter what you want. These guys got attacked over here. How dare you take one or two provinces extra by accident in a war? <laughs> okay, get you guys over here. Just consolidate. They are going to probably reinforce. There's just so many dang men over here, man. That's nuts. That's insane. Let's flee as far away as possible. 
Yeah, they got a lot of men now, apparently. All right. Let's uh, continue to core this all up. Dang, man. Yeah, I think for Japan, we'll just uh, take all their money for now. That's fine. Pay off our debt. We're not going to have any admin to take any clay any in the near future anyway, so it's not a big deal. I don't even have enough admin to keep my uh, stability positive. So, Sag. Let's get these guys down here. We need to get across these straits, so let's uh, have these lads come up here. Let the floodgates open up and bring over the rest of the men. Let's take a look at uh, their professionalism. Let's see. Have they randomly, magically created some? They have 10%, so they can do two slackens. It's not too bad. Yeah, apparently, we're co converting some stuff over here. Okay. I would rather you guys didn't happen. Here we go. As soon as we win this province here, we can bring over another 60 stack. Here we go. Have these guys head down here. I d we definitely went a one-to-one. -one. It's the issue is, is that they keep like spamming in their men. They're reinforcing with like, you know, a hundred, a hundred thousand men. But look at this. Streltsy and then a full back row almost for the most part. Though we need to make sure that we have, we do get our back row ups fixed up. But yeah, look at that. They lost way more than we did. So that's awesome. Continue to uh, steamroll through their men. That was actually kind of an accident, but it's fine. The casual speed five war against the Ottomans. Don't you guys do that too? Just me? <laughs> but uh, there we go. We are now no longer overextended. Oh, cool. There you go. No more overextension. No more overextension events. These guys will win this siege here. These guys have already won this siege over here. So let's get them grouped up over here as well. And uh, now we just need to eat up the Ottomans. So the piece we're looking for is going to be most likely this. This. For some reason, that's going to cost me Diplo. Hmm. What about if I were to give it to him directly like that? So that costs no Diplo, and it costs the same amount of war score. If I were to just... So that was that's 41 war score. If I click on this here... 27. Damn. Okay, well... Yeah, Reconquest is still not the right move, though, because it would still take me... It would still cost me a ton of Diplo to take land that is not a uh, Vassal's claim. So we'll figure out the piece in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you do. Let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Ding the bell if you haven't already. Uh, check out the subreddit. Join that. It's going to be linked in the description below, as well as my Discord, Twitter. Uh, support me on Patreon as well. It's also going to be linked in the description below with uh, everything else. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.